It is time for a check on sports. Of course, Mike Kazi on these very slow days because of COVID-19. And basically, we just have football to talk about. <laughs> uh, Mike's on Monday, Thursdays, and Fridays. All right. Uh, in uh, sports, uh, the uh, Lions quarterback, Matthew Stafford, uh, once again has an injury, a partially torn ligament in his throwing hand. He uh, suffered that injury in the first quarter. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens with him uh, during the rest of the uh, season. There's no uh, fractures or breaks, uh, and uh, he thinks he's going to get out there uh, and play. So uh, Matthew Stafford injured in that game. Uh, other sports news to take a look at this morning. Uh, a former first-round defensive end has been waived after he failed his physical. Tack McKinley. Uh, Cincinnati Bengals, they waived him less than a week after claiming off waivers. The team said he failed the physical, but they didn't provide any other details. The Pro Bowl, which I think is in football, the football Pro Bowl should just not be held. They should just have a, a weekend where they do uh, a, an all-star show uh, that where they pick the all-stars. Uh, they have a, a reward ceremony. It's televised. Lots of fun and games and giggles. Because uh, the game's stupid anyway. But the uh, Pro Bowl will play uh, on EA Sports Madden NFL 21 video game. That's right. The real game has been canceled. The NFL opened month-long fan voting for the first virtual Pro Bowl, which could feature players whose team make up the Super Bowl because they won't have to attend and play in real life. Peter O'Reilly, who is the NFL Executive Vice President of Club Business and Events, said the league partners are uniquely positioned to help the NFL make the transformation of this high-profile event to uh, from live to virtual. <laughs> it's just plain stupid. Just plain stupid. Uh, and uh, another uh, interesting uh, check on uh, sports this morning here on uh, The Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio. Uh, and that is... A, uh, I have to find a here it is, uh, a baseball Hall of Famer joining the ownership group of Major League Soccer Seattle Sounders. Ken Griffey Jr. has become a part owner of that team. And uh, how about uh, the other story uh, that is uh, that is out of uh, actually uh, Miami. And that is, uh, they have hired a uh, a woman to be part of the uh, management and the coaching uh, staff as well. All right, all right. And uh, I guess it's never too early to talk about the Heisman Trophy. Uh, and uh, there's a interesting look at that this year. Uh, there's this, once again quarterbacks that lead to look at that. Um, but uh, and then the poll, the bowl, bowl predictions. Uh, I still think Clemson should be the number one team. They lost after they had a lot of defensive players out and their lead quarterback out with COVID nineteen. But um, they are not. Uh, Notre Dame really is uh, is uh, right up there in the top three. Um, so we've got the Rose Bowl, the Sugar Bowl. Uh, I mean, just a ton of bowls. But uh, there's only four. Four bowls that really tell us what's going to happen uh, in college football. And uh, we've got a little ways to go until we get a better insight on that. All right, that is a quick check of sports this morning. As I said, Mike Kazi, only on Monday, Thursday, and Friday. On uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, you get moi, me, Marshall Miles. All right, all right. That is a check on sports.